What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Yurt Sanctuary. Thanks for tuning in. So, we received, yes, finally it has arrived. Our Vermont casting wood burning stove. We're so excited. We have the C3 version. It's the smallest of their line, but it's going to heat up this beautiful yurt just perfectly. While we waited for the stove to arrive, we've been putting together some of the piping and doing some of the prep work for the uh, chimney installation. We marked the spot where the flashing is going to be installed and now I want to um, just spray paint it so the inside flashing just goes with the color. Um, I don't like that beige color. And then the back a part of the flashing also will be painting. So we gave it two coats of Rust-Oleum heat resistant paint. The inside of the flashing will be black, the outside will be green. It's not the exact green as the um, color of the yurt, but it's close enough. Yeah. We've done a lot of prep work and we're going to share it all with you. But first, let me just remind you to please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you. We really appreciate you showing up. Preparing the Duratec stove piping. Measure twice and cut once. We got two pieces of 2x2 two two blue stone to set the stove on. So we're getting ready to crop the stove on its side so we can install the four legs and then move it to the blue stone. Come on, come on, let's get the show on the road. What do you want to do? Just hold that. I want to see something. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's funny. I think we should still hold it. Man, it's really cold. I wish we had the stove installed already. Before I forget, we used a hardy cement board underneath the blue stone. Because we're such perfectionists, I'm going to paint the edges with red paint so that it matches the tiles. We're also using a hardy cement backboard for the back of the stove and we're putting the tin red tiles on top of it. So we received the tin red tiles. Oh my God, this is gonna pop. This is gonna pop, it's gonna look so beautiful. But wait, those screws are gonna stick out. They're, they're not red. Hold on a minute, I gotta do something about this. It's the little things that matter. All right, let's go over to the yard and see what Don is up to. Oh, I see, he's testing the pipe. We need to know exactly where to cut for the opening of the pipe. Time to prep for the chimney support. So glad it rained so the ground is soft for this. We're using two 10 foot 4x4 four four posts. We're gonna have time to set it in cement. Right now we're just testing it. We'll have to come back and set the cement later. There's a snowstorm coming. We're going to have to take a break. Oh my God, look. Well, we're testing our snow and wind supports on the yard look at the dome it has a, a a dome of snow on top of the dome <laughs> go ahead and click on the videos here to see how we built this 20 foot platform for the yard and our beautiful 20 foot yard we'll be back with the installation of the stove as soon as the snow melts <laughs> 